Hi friends! Today is gonna be our much long-awaited bookshelf tour. If you haven't been around for the last three or four months, I did a complete overhaul of my office and entire redecorization. Redecoration. I mean, redecorization is actually kind of accurate because it was a reorganization and a redecoration. So, redecorization. My bookshelves were one of the things that got changed during that. Now, I have been filming in front of them for quite a while since they moved um, because I have sucked at filming this part and wasn't really sure what I had left in the office footage that needed to be moved into. The it's been a thing, like it's been a whole thing. But finally, I have come to you. We are here. So we are going to go way back in time to when I originally moved the shelves. Um, I've got a couple of clips from that footage. Also, if you want to see the full office reorganization, I will link both of the other videos in the description box down below for you. We are not going to do a full like pull every book out thing. We're just going to go over um, the shelves themselves. I will do a full overview so you can see the whole shot and then we'll go over the shelves and talk about uh, kind of how things are organized, maybe show you some different books like my favorites or least favorites or why would I have least favorites on my shelves? Who knows? Not me. Um, and we'll just kind of go over like where things are and how I made those decisions. And uh, I'm not completely happy with my shelves yet. Uh, there are still some things that I would like to change, but for now, I'm happy with the way things are. And um, I do have a few books that are missing because they are being borrowed currently. So we're just we're just going with what we have. I've, I was kind of waiting for everything to come back, and it's fine. So let's go into the past, and then we'll come a little more into the present. So this is what we're working with. Um, as stated previously, um, you know, you can check out the whole video of the entire office, but if you just want to get like the bookshelf redo, this is it. Um, the bookshelves were over here all along this wall, um, just between the two doors. It took up all the space between those two doors and I have moved them over into the corner with the small shelf. Um, my cube stand stacked on top of one another and then my regular three bookshelves. I'm also going to do some adjustments of my unread, uh, my TBR shelves and these shelves over here, which are, these are red. And then these two on the top, the, this one and this one are both unread. I'm going to do some changing around of those as well. These are red also. I think I'm going to make the bottom shelf all red books and move over the ones that are over here that are red to over here on the white shelf and then just have only unread books on the top shelf. And I'm gonna do some unhauling of red books and I think these two shelves, the, ooh, there's that light, doesn't let you see that, there you go. Um, I think these I'm going to, the two bottom white shelves I'm gonna make for like my cookbooks and notebooks and things like that. And that's where I'm at. Um, I'm gonna work on this for a little while. I am currently reading I am currently reading Sanctum by Madeline Rue. It's the second book in the Asylum series. Uh, so I'm listening to that on audio while I work on this project. Um, I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. I just want to be happy, happy tonight. Okay, I officially have all of the unread books up there and there. Now for the rest of this mess. Okay, so here's our wide shot of how everything is currently looking. Um, the Olive Garden bag is books that are being unhauled and 
I need to take them to the donation center, but if I put the bag up, I will forget to do it. So that's why those are there. Um, shelves, lots and lots and lots of shelves. Plus at the top, all the way over to there. The light might change, it might not. Well, if I do that, so lots, lots of books as you all are aware also. Ciao! Books over there as well. So all of the books that you see in front of you, um, all of these three shelves are all red books. This bottom shelf here, also all red books. Also, Everything up here on the top shelf, everything on this top shelf, from the big red Lord of the Rings over to this way is also red. So now my unreds are just these guys over here and also the top shelf over here. These are all books that are for like upcoming vlog videos. That I have planned so I've kept them separately over here so I don't use them for other things. We will start with this first cube stand. So all of these on this top shelf are organized in height behind our flowers. So all of these are my historical and history uh, mythology. Anything that was is like a research book that isn't witchery. Those are on a different shelf. Um, so anything historical, mythological, also Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but yes, all of that. Hold my flowers, thank you. This teeny tiny little cube right here is everything that I have purchased in 2021 but have not read yet. These very few books, 2021, except also these books are my purchased for this month. I try to keep things separate for when I'm doing wrap-ups. So these guys are my haul for July and these are my red for July. I have quite a few of these. Some of these I've already read. Well, okay, one of these I've already read, but the other six I have not. So, but that's, that's what all that is. Okay. Look, I just pulled the chair out and I found a wild Merlin. I know where she sleeps now. I have learned her hiding spot. She's very much like, well, you just leave me alone. I'm trying to sleep. Up here, we have sci-fi books. All red, obviously, because of the shelf that we're on. Um, but sci-fi, and then by height, and some dystopian down there on the end. We have a one of two Cassandra Clare shelves. These are all of the... U.S. paperbacks that have like the cool spine design and then also the Infernal Devices and the Mortal Instruments graphic novel series up to now. Um, everything we have of that. And then this shelf is my Rick Riordan shelf. That also has my board for Instagram. But Rick Riordan, so we have Percy Jackson, Heroes of Olympus, Trials of Apollo, Magnus Chase, Kane Chronicles, all of that. We then have like my witchy, fantasy, contemporary, whatever you want to call it, uh, hardback books. So these include some of my favorites like Crystal Sutherland and Adrian Young. So, da -da -da -da. and then down here we have my adult romances or adult contemporaries. Um, there's some YA contemporary on the end. It kind of bleeds into YA contemporary over here. Um, but the adult, if this shelf looks weird, it's because all of my brown sisters are currently loaned out. So you can imagine that my brown sisters are right there between Meet Cute and The Bookish Life of Nina Hill. I promise that's where they normally go. Um, but then as I said, some paperback YA romances, and then we go into more YA contemporary, and also still Merlin. And these are like the mixed series that I have some paperback and hardback of, and then go into all hardbacks. 
uh, behind my little pennant flag thing. And then more YA contemporary short books. And then into some YA and also adult mystery, thriller, things of that nature. We went all the way across the bottom. Let's go back to here. Clearly, this is my Susan Dennard shelf. I have two, three more books that need to go on the shelf, but as you can tell, no room for three books on the shelf. So, things are going to be changing very soon. We then have this shelf that is very dusty and needs a bath, but this shelf is like some of my special editions or just books that I think are really pretty. So I have both City of Bones and Clockwork Angel 10th Anniversary Editions because they are gorgeous. My 10th Anniversary Edition of Vampire Academy, again, gorgeous. My Serbian edition of Truth Witch, which is the one in the middle, uh, gorgeous. And then Geraldine's Alley by Becca C. Smith, who is a friend of mine and a fellow author tuber, and also gorgeous. And then we have the next Cassie Clare shelf. This is mostly hardbacks of some of the newer series and also like Tales from Shadowhunter Academy, Ghosts from Shadow Market, Bane Chronicles, my hardbacks of the Red Scroll of Magic, and in the middle where it is very colorful is my UK paperbacks of the original uh, Mortal Instruments series, which I love because they're gorgeous. It is very bright, but we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, up here we have my mostly Rochelle Mead, but Vampire Academy, Bloodlines, and then some witch books there on the end. Uh, the, these witches don't burn by Isabel Sterling, which I love. The paperback of Undead Girl Gang, which was also on the hardback shelf. Uh, Hex Hall. And then on the end, because I had n no real idea where else to put her, I put um, An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I still don't own the fourth book, so waiting for that to come out in paperback. And then this next shelf is mostly Amanda Hawking, but also includes my Kate Tiernan sweep series, everything I've read so far, um, some Madeline Rue, some Maureen Johnson paperbacks, um, Winterwood, A.R. Kaler, some Jesse Elliott, who is kind of sort of sometimes a fellow author tuber, and then the Trill trilogy, the Canaan Chronicles, the Omti Origins, and then uh, the Valkyrie duology, and then uh, just Lullaby by Amanda Hawking. The second book to which is here because it is tall and does not fit on that shelf. When I put the extra holes in for that shelf, it's a uh, it's a very small amount of space. That shelf used to hold my mid grade, but I had to move those because I was overflowing. Uh, so this one is um, a mishmash of just things that I've enjoyed that fit on the shelf height wise that didn't really have a lot of space for on other shelves. So we have the Grishaverse trilogy, uh, Beyond the Ruby Veil, vale, Lost in the Neverwoods, Some Cemetery Boys, Horrid by Katrina Leno, that's what this is if you're wondering because it's a completely different cover. Uh, my Kelly Coon books, Grave Maidens, War Maidens, love those. Uh, my Gilded Ones, uh, Sarah Glenn Marsh, love those. So all of those things. And here we have the last shelf on my three standing bookshelves. Um, and this is just some dystopian and some leftover like heroes and weird magic things that don't really fit anywhere else height wise. Again, these last two are just kind of like a mishmash of other things. Um, so one of my favorites that I just recently reread, the Hunter Trilogy by Mercedes Lackey. Um, I do have all three of these books. One of them is out on loan currently. Some tall sci-fi that wouldn't fit on the sci-fi shelf all of these kind of sci-fi that doesn't fit on the sci-fi shelf and then random holly black on the end and also way over there uh, are my graphic novels okay so now we are on the shelf directly above those and we have my pretty harry potter editions woohoo uh, but also some of my older series, like older YA series that I've read, Beautiful Creatures series, I can't remember the actual name of the series right now, it has escaped me. Um, some LJ Smith, some Witches, Wicked, uh, Fallen, Teardrop, some, some Lauren Kate, also some Rachel Hawkins, Divergent, Red Queen, you know, all those things. Back behind that giant bouquet that hangs out in the corner, isn't she pretty? That was my 
maid of honor bouquet from my friend's wedding. Uh, but back behind there, all of my House of Night novels. And then we get into my mid-grade that used to be on the mid-grade shelf. Um, but like Wanla and my Sarah Normal series and the Creepover series and just some random ones, some Schwab, some witch books. Then just like a crazy random amalgamation of books that I have read. Just just random completely except this end one is all Christmas but but random completely absolutely random. Also random is up here just most of these are ones that I I'm not sure that I'm going to keep, that I enjoyed them enough to keep them, other than like, you know, The Princess Bride, which I obviously loved. This spot right here is uh, memoirs and things, but a lot of these are ones that I'm not sure that I'm going to keep or not. I don't know. I haven't decided. So. Unread books? You want to see those? I'm literally just holding the, the tripod in the sky now. Okay. Uh, unread books. Yes. We have those. Ooh. These over here are just ones that I have saved for upcoming reading vlogs, blogs, whatever, cookbooks, writing craft books, and then right here are ones that I'm currently working on. They just hang out next to me on my ridiculously messy desk. Also, sneak peek, I hung up my new character cards from Witchlands behind me. Aren't they pretty? Time to put this place back in order. All right, guys, that's it. That's everything. That's all the shelves. You've seen them all now. Uh, not as concisely as I would have liked to have done. A little crazy, especially there towards the end. But, you know, with me, sometimes it's just what you get. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about anything that you may have seen today. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about any of the books that we talked about. I will be doing a video during beta on my Witchlands collection so I will be going over that a little more fully um, and like my different editions and signatures and things like that so you can look forward to that coming up um, towards the end of the month of August so that's the only thing I know that's bookshelf related that I'm doing during beta. Uh, also surprise I'm doing beta. Um, VEDA is video every day in August. I will not be doing a video every day. I'll be doing a video every weekday. Um, kind of just change it just a smidge to better fit my schedule in my life and hopefully so that I don't get behind on things. I figure if I give myself weekends off of needing to have a video posted that'll give me time if I'm behind to get caught up. So, um, video every weekday in August and, uh, gonna give that a shot. I have some tags planned. I have, uh, I'll be doing live sprints every Friday instead of every other Friday. Um, so lots of tags planned, some basics, a couple of vlogs, um, just some different things that should be going up in August. So hopefully you guys will stick around for that. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week or every weekday during beta. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!